Hello everyone, this is a quick video tutorial on how to upload your student opt-out forms. Before we get started, you're probably going to want to go into your drive and I have created a drive folder that I've shared with all of you. You will probably want to go in and manually add that to your own Google Drive just so you have a little bit quicker and easier access to it. In order to do that, you're just going to go to your drive account. And you can see here that I have the opt-out forms folder in my drive. That's because I created it for you all. It's actually going to be here in this shared with me folder. Um, you'll notice that I don't have this under my shared with me tab over here just because I was the one who created it. But I went ahead and shared it with one of my other accounts just so you could see what that looks like. What you'll want to do is go into the shared with me tab, find that opt-out forms folder, click it and then find this add to my drive button up here and click that. What that will do is now when you go into your drive, you'll be able to see your, the folder here just like I can on my screen. So when you get the opt out form back from a parent, we need you to download these. And as you download them, we need to have them named in a specific way for the sake of making it a little bit easier for Brooke to look these up should we ever be audited on our opt-out forms. So please, when you download these files, whether it be in Gmail or Outlook or whatever mail client you're using, please rename it to the student's last name, comma, space, and then the student's first name. Um, me personally, I've created this opt-out forms folder here that I'm going to be saving mine into. If you don't specify a folder, it's probably just going to go into your downloads folder over here. I'm going to go ahead and save it here into my opt out forms folder. And so if you're doing this inside of Gmail, just in the web browser, it's a little bit quicker and easier. As you can see, it just saves it right down here in the corner of my browser. Now you can go over in your drive to that opt out forms folder. And you'll see it's split up by grade. So let's say that I just saved and renamed the PDF from a student who is in first grade. And I've still got this button up on my browser. I can just click and drag here on into the first grade folder. You can see it uploaded just fine. And that's all you need to do. Now, let's say that you downloaded the file from Outlook, or maybe you downloaded the file and then you accidentally closed this, or maybe you downloaded the file and you forgot to rename it while you were downloading it. What you're gonna need to do is you're need, gonna need to go to your file explorer and find wherever you saved that file to. For most of you, it's just gonna be here in your downloads folder. If you saved it somewhere else, it's gonna be there. So let's say I downloaded this file from Outlook. I forgot to rename it. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Again, please make sure that you're naming this last name, comma, space, first name. And now from this file explorer I've got open, I can just click and drag. Let's say this is a third grade student. We can click and drag into third grade. You could also, if you wanted to, you can go into the folder itself, say it's second grade, and I could click and drag directly into that folder, whichever one you're more happy with, whichever one's more convenient for you. And then just please verify that it uploaded fine, that you can see it inside of that drive folder. And from there, I think that's everything that you need to do. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to email me. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a nice day.